Hey, what's up guys, Alex here. Thank you for checking this video and welcome to my personal review of the BenQ Screen Bar e-reading lamp. What's up with Alex and all these desk lamps reviews? Well, if you're like me and you spend probably from 14 to 16 hours per day in front of a computer, you should be at least sure that you have a decent source of light to avoid that your eye starts bleeding once every five minutes and that's really important. I never talked about these online or my social medias but I probably change a desk lamp once every two months because I'm never satisfied of whatever things I buy. Sometimes I try an LED, sometimes I try a regular like light bulb or sometimes I even buy those Philips Hue lights that you can change the color, you can change and control the intensity but I'm never fully satisfied. So I was really surprised when BenQ contacted me and asked me to review their unit. Full disclosure, this is not a paid review. I'm not getting any money out of it. So I'm gonna be totally honest and I'm gonna, as usual, whenever I do a review, I'm gonna list before the negative things and then the positive things about the product just to end on a positive note. So this is a really particular lamp because it doesn't come with a stand, you don't put it on your desk as usual. It actually comes with a pretty heavy clip that is not magnetic or anything, it's, it actually doesn't snap, but you put that clip on top of your monitor and then you attach the lamp that is just a long tube, an LED tube, that it goes straight into that clip. And that's it. The power source comes via USB and usually the default instruction from the package, it says that it's better to connect the USB to a port of your computer. And this is one of the first negative things that I'm saying about this lab, is that it's gonna occupy one port of your computer all the time. Of course in the instruction it says also that you could have a charger like a phone adapter where you connect the USB and you can plug it directly into your power source but before doing that always check the proper voltage just to not damage the lamp. The assembly process was pretty much straightforward, it was really easy and there's no um, instructions or particular steps that you have to follow in order to plug it in. As soon as you plug in automatically the desk lamp recognizes when the computer is on and drags power from it so it's just lights up whenever you put it on that's pretty straightforward as a lamp other than the shape and the way it's attached to your computer comes with other particular features so it doesn't come with any physical button everything can be controlled with a sort of like touch display above the LED bar and you have a total of four buttons the first is a power button you turn it on and turn it off and it's okay the second button is the ambience button so it recognizes the luminosity and the intensity of the light or the color of the light of your room Room and adapts the intensity and the color, the temperature of the light of the LED bar based on the time of the day. So it's pretty useful if you wanna let the lamp do everything for you. The third button controls the temperature and this is great because it can go from straight cold light, so super blue and super bright blue, to super super warm and it gets kind of red. When you reach the point that the temperature is super warm, it's just like really bright, super saturated orange which sometimes is really good for your eyes especially if you're working overnight and you don't want any other light source around your room and you just have the one having a warm light overnight it's better for your eye the fourth and final button is just the intensity the luminosity of your lamp so you can have it super bright or super dim and you can pretty much control everything with that so after trying the lamp for a couple of weeks I pretty much got used to it I don't use anymore the other lamp that I have on my desk and I just turn it on directly when I need to start using my computer. A couple of negative aspects other than the USB port is occupied is that those capacity buttons, those LED buttons on top are not that great. Sometimes I'm tapping, 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 tapping and nothing happens or sometimes I tap one times but the intensity changes twice is they're not really responsive but it's not a big deal it's kind of weird to use it but you get used to it pretty quickly but sometimes they react in a weird way or sometimes it feels like you're tapping it but you're actually not because you're not seeing where you're tapping it so you're actually maybe tapping in between buttons and you're not doing anything another strange aspect that you need to get used to it is that if you have like me the monitor that it's raised up it's not like put on your desk, it's a bit higher than normal, so if it's too high, you can probably see a little bit of 
LED light going to your face. But you can control the rotation and the direction of that LED lamp, so it shouldn't be a big deal. The overall concept of this lamp is that because of the particular aspect and because of the particular shape of the lamp, the light should never hit your screen. So it shouldn't create any glare or affect your visibility and the light should go straight down to your keyboard or to your desk or whatever you're pointing to without actually bouncing on top of your monitor. So it doesn't matter if you have a glossy monitor or an opaque monitor, it should never create any issue. Which is true, but there's a small issue. Because I attach it to an iMac, the iMac if you know that has a built-in camera on top and pretty much every modern only-one desktop they have a built-in camera and the fact that the lamp clamps on top right there you could have a couple of issues first the clamp could slightly cover the camera if the camera of your monitor is too close to the edge to the top edge of your monitor it doesn't happen likely with an iMac so you should be good to go if you have that the other thing is that if you incline a little bit too much the LED you're gonna have or a glare when you use the camera is gonna like reflect on your camera it's gonna be kind of weird because it's so close to the LED or if you rotate it all the way into the other direction to avoid the glare the spectator or whatever person you're talking into your webcam and using your webcam will see this super bright light that cuts you in half or cuts your face in half that I know it's not a big deal but it's kind of weird visually so you have to decide or you have a little glare on your camera or you're super bright from your chin down which is not a big deal I guess other than that, this lamp is actually really great. As I said, I got used to it pretty quickly and it's not a burn anymore turning on the lamp and every time I used to turn on a lamp I used to spend like 20-30 seconds trying to organize it and just pointing to the right direction, avoid the glare on the screen and trying to, I don't know, move it a little bit further away because it was too intense or my eye need to get used to it or all stuff like that. This doesn't happen with this lamp, it's really straightforward, really easy to use and the fact that you can fully control the temperature and the intensity of the LED, it's amazing and it's so useful especially during long night of coding or when I'm I don't know video editing something I don't want the light to affect the final product or affect the color gradation where I'm doing some color correction I don't want the light to bounce on the monitor and maybe distort my perspective and give me like a false positive or stuff like that this type of LED lamp from BenQ is just amazing it's perfect of course because it's a particular design it's kind of like a new slick type of model of lamp is not that cheap it costs around a hundred dollars you can find it on Amazon even around eighty nine dollars sometimes you have some retainer or some reseller that sell it at a cheaper price so definitely go check it out on Amazon if you want the direct link in the description below of this video just click there and check this lamp and if you're like me that you spend pretty much your entire day in front of the computer and most of the time you spend your entire night in front of a computer having a lamp that it's capable of adapting or following your necessity in terms of not destroying your eyesight whenever you use a computer for too long it's really really good and really incredible you should definitely check it out well that's pretty much it for this video i hope you enjoyed it if you did as usual give it a thumbs up or subscribe to the channel and let me know what you think did you try this lamp do you have any other lamp you don't use any lamp at all you go directly to dark or you lighten up your entire room when you work overnight well, let me know what you think. Leave me a comment and I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye!